What is going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Liverpool Career Mode and we are back today for another episode, it is episode 4 and I've not released for a while actually, I haven't played FIFA for a while but I've been a bit busy recently on holiday basically today we've got uh, two games for you today we've actually got three but if we just take a look at the calendar as you can see the first game is a very hard game and it's going to be away to Arsenal we're then going to sim a game which is a Rochdale home in the Capital One Cup, we're just going to sim that game. And then we've got home against West Ham United. So these could be very interesting games. We're going to give them a go, we're going to go straight into the game against Arsenal. This is going to be the team. Obviously it's a bit sad that Sturridge wants to leave. Uh, this will probably be his, it may be his last game for Liverpool here. So hopefully it'll be good if he can end it on high. But without further ado, let's just go straight into this game away to Arsenal. Okay then, here we are at the Emirates Stadium. It's not very nice weather at all, again, as usual in the UK, in the Barclays Premier League. But we are here today. We did not have a very good episode at all last episode. So we're going to try and get a little bit better in this episode. We obviously got a Drew 0-0 uh, against Stoke and we lost 1-0 against Bournemouth. So hopefully this can be our first Premier League win. It's a very hard game, but I'm just going to give it my best, you know. And we are still on world-class difficulty as well. So. And I haven't played FIFA for a while. So this could be a very interesting game. It could be 7-0 to Arsenal. Or I could randomly come out and win 2-0. We don't know. Coutinho's doing alright here with the ball. Down to Coutinho. Coutinho's turned. He's got room in the box. Shot to Coutinho. Saved by Czech. First shot of the game. And that is a very, very good start for Liverpool. Milner plays it on the edge of the box to Adam Lallana with the strike. Good save by Czech again. We've got ourselves another corner. This is nice pressure by Liverpool. Hopefully we can keep this up during the whole game. We're doing very well here, actually. Just keep the boxed in. I'm going to loop this one over the top there towards Lalana. He's got down. Shot by Lalana. Oh, and it's in. What a goal. Adam Lalana. Oh, what a beautiful goal that is by Adam Lalana. It didn't really go in the corner, so I thought Czech was going to save it. It may have taken a deflection. I'm not quite sure. But we are 1-0 up here, not even 20 minutes gone. Look at the Liverpool fans going absolutely bananas there. But what a strike that is by Adam Lallana. It's a beautiful, beautiful touch there. Look at this. Nice touch. Left foot as well. And, oh, that's a great strike. Let's take a look. I don't think... Oh, it did take a little nick off the defender there. Not quite sure what defender it was. Oh, it did take a nick off Koscielny just to loop it over the top of Czech. But... I don't really care how the goal goes in, as, soon as, as long as it goes in. So here we go, we are 1-0 up here against Arsenal. Can we keep this up? Lana now. Bang, up to Coutinho. Coutinho's got room as well. Oh, Mertzak has been left there. Coutinho. Coutinho. Coutinho's still going. Philippe Coutinho! Oh, it's 2-0! <laughs> what is going on with Arsenal here? They are all over the place. As soon as I kick off, Mertzak loses possession there. And Coutinho, left foot, absolutely bangs it. We're 2 0 up here, away to Arsenal. We've got the break again. Coutinho, he skipped his man up to Sturridge. Sturridge has got over pace. Sturridge, 3 0 to Liverpool. This is unbelievable. 3 0 up before half time. Oh my god, I do not believe what's happening. We struggled against Bournemouth, we struggled against Stoke. And we're winning away to Arsenal. That, this is basically how Liverpool works in real life. And there it is, guys. The halftime whistle has just gone. We are 3-0 up away against Arsenal. We're completely dominated here. I think we've had a shot on target, and that's about it, really. Uh, at least Daniel Sturridge got a goal on his last game for Liverpool. And let's take a look at that. As you can see, Sturridge, Coutinho and Alana with the goals. 3-0 up against Arsenal. This is... I'm just... I'm just speechless. I really cannot believe what's going on here. Lost out there to Chamberlain. Chamberlain's knocked the ball over to Alexi Sanchez. And oh my god, he's just headed that miles over the bar. I wasn't expecting that at all from Alexi Sanchez. And there it is, guys. The full-time whistle has gone. We've won 3-0 away to Arsenal here. And this is crazy. I would not believe this on world-class difficult. We struggled so much last episode. We've just won our first game of the Barclays Premier League. Sturridge, there he is. I think he got himself mad of the match in that game. I'm not quite sure. He got a shot and he got a goal. So he did very well for his last game for Liverpool there. We've received the transfer offer for Daniel Sturridge. 
Now, he's asked me for weeks and weeks. He wants to go. I'm going to have to let him go. He wants to go. I don't want to make him unhappy here. I want, I want the players here to be happy and to play nice football. I don't want Daniel Sturridge to be unhappy and not play good football for me. It's came through, Daniel Sturridge has been sold, so we no longer have Daniel Sturridge as a striker, so we may need to look for a new striker. We might have to look at that for a, in a minute. There it is, we're going to send this game home to Rochdale quickly. This is the second round of the Capital One Cup. Don't really need to be in this, to be honest, but it would be nice to get through. There we go, 4 0 win, goal for Benteke, Coutinho, Firmino, and Henderson. And Lovren got himself a yellow card. Home to West Ham is our next game. There you go, as you can see, Coutinho, everyone's back on full health or full stamina. And without further ado, let's go straight into this game, home against West Ham United. But he's won the ball back there for Medio. So it's a good play. Very good play. I'm sure it's a foul. Thank you very much, goalkeeper. And here we go. Who's going to take this? Probably put Coutinho on this, to be honest. Coutinho on this. I'm going to try something. This may not work. It's worth a try. No. <laughs> that did not work at all. He's tried to win it back, but he hasn't done it. Uh oh, and that's a ball through. Can Moreno get there? No, he can. And we're 1 0 down. Home to West Ham United. There it is, guys. The half time whistle's gone. We are 1 0 down, which is not good at all. Uh, we just need to settle down a bit, really. We just need to play. We're not playing as nice football as we did against Arsenal. So we need to try and calm it down a bit. And let's see if we can get uh, a bit of possession. Let's go to possession football. Let's do this. Come on. Adam Lallana, easy save there by Adrian, some nice football there again. And that's all we need to do is we need to slowly pass the ball about and it's working because we just had a shot on target. Oh, that's a lucky bounce there. That is not fair. And it's 2-0. Unbelievable luck there by West Ham United. Unbelievable luck. I was going to intercept that. They had a lucky touch. And we're 2-0 down to West Ham here. This is not good. Can we actually get a goal back, though? That's the question. Crossed in. Lalana, 2-1. We've got a goal back, at least. We've got a goal back. Well done, Lalana. Lalana's the only one who's actually doing well for the team at the moment. I suppose Henderson did put a nice little ball through there. And it's a nice little header. We're back in this game. Who's going to get their head on it? Nobody. Benteke! Good save by Adrian. And it's cleared away by West Ham again. Done very well by Lallana. And then Lallana! Straight to Adrian again. Unbelievable. That was going to be the chance. That was the chance to win this game. There it is. Full time whistle's gone. We've lost 2 1 here at home to West Ham. It's a very unlucky game. We had so, so many chances. West Ham just getting so lucky there. Unbelievable game that was. Very frustrating. Okay, so it is the final day of the transfer window, so we're just going to go and end this now, because we're not going to afford another striker. I've just realised we've got enough money to buy him. Let's do it, right now. We'll put in 32... We'll put in 30... Yeah, we'll put in 32.5 million. Let's give that a go just before the transfer window ends. Can we get a Bamiang? That would be absolutely a brilliant if we could do that. Come on, please. He's accepted it. He has accepted it. Now, can we afford it for wages? He wants a salary of 140. We've got enough. He wants three years. He's going to be a crucial team player. 
Please, please accept this contract. Come on. Six hours left. Five hours left now. Come on. He's declined it. We're gonna have to do this, guys. We're gonna have to overpay him. 200 grand we're paying for this striker. Please, come on. Please, please, please accept this. He's accepted it. He's accepted it. Oh, thank God. Okay then, guys. So that is going to be it for the end of this episode. If you have enjoyed it, please drop a like. In the next episode, it's a very interesting episode. We are playing away to Man United as our first game. So that could be very interesting indeed. We're 14th in the table at the moment, which isn't too bad. Obviously, I want to be a lot higher than that. But, yeah, we have got ourselves a new striker. Aubameyang is the striker. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, drop a like below. Comment down below if there's any players you want me to try and get. Any changes you want me to make. Camera angles at all you want me to change. Give me a shout. And thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in a new one very soon. In a bit.